log on and log off in Oracle applications. So let's go into Oracle applications and understand the procedure of login and log out. At this point, I would also like to add that this entire video has been recorded in the latest release, which is 12.2.3 as of today. So I'm going to minimize this and I will go into a browser and here I will type the URL for accessing Oracle applications. So in my case, it is ebs122.aclnz.com colon 8000. Here you've got to type a username and password. So this is a demonstration database. So in this, I can use a username called as operations with a password of welcome. Hit the login button and you'll be presented with a screen which is having two different side so you've got a left hand side and a right hand side so on the left hand side what you could see is something a list of responsibilities you can consider responsibility as the name says for instance take an example of a purchase manager what's his daily roles and responsibilities are approving purchase orders reviewing new suppliers approving new suppliers or approving items inspecting items inspecting inventory and so on so all those things you can combine it in a responsibility. So let's go to a responsibility called as Purchasing Vision Operations USA. There you go. And within that, as you could see, I can combine various different forms approving a purchase order. So you can, when you click on that, it'll take you to a form wherein one can enter or approve purchase orders. Likewise, you can have different forms wherein one can review and approve suppliers like this. So there is something called a supplier. So you can basically combine all these different forms together and give them a meaningful name at the top. And this is what you call as a menu. So a menu helps you to combine various different forms together and attach it to a responsibility. You can attach one or more menus in a responsibility. So that's the left hand side. And depending on what all responsibilities has been assigned to this particular user, it will appear on the left hand side. So in this case, it is a super user. So you can see all the responsibilities which have been assigned to him listed on the left hand side. So on the right hand side, you will see something called as a work list. A work list as the name suggests, it's something open items which are pending for action for this particular user or it is for his information or called as FYI. For instance, if a purchase order has been approved, he has been notified that a purchase order has been approved. Likewise, if something it is requiring his action would also be listed over here. For instance, if a new supplier has come on board and if it is requiring his action as a purchasing manager to review the supplier details and approve it, then it will appear over here and then he can click on that one and go into that review and approve it. For instance, in this case, the purchase order has already been approved, but I'm simply trying to show you the format of a notification. So for purchase order, it looks like this. And if it's requiring his action, then it will be having two buttons out here called as approve and reject. And when he clicks on approve, then the purchase order would be potentially approved. So this is how a potential action item would be listed over here in the work list section. Then you would also see there is something called as favorites. So favorites are, as the name says, like in browser, you can add favorites. So one can also add favorites in eBusiness Suite. Likewise, one can also define preferences. For instance, someone wants a different look and feel or someone wants a different time zone that can be defined over here subject to the condition that the preferences function has been assigned to this particular user. Likewise, there are a number of different preferences out here. For instance, you know, changing the password and giving the other credentials. How would you like to have your responsibility start page and so on. Then other thing that you have over here is something called as personalized page. So one can also personalize the forms or the user interface which appears over here. So if I click on personalize, it gives various different options wherein one can go in and personalize this. Now this is a little bit technical. So usually the end user doesn't do this and it is left to a technical resource to personalize a screen for someone and to 
present him as a pre-personalized skin when someone logs in and comes to this user interface. So what I'm going to do at this point of time, I'm going to go back and if you want to log out from Oracle applications, all you do it is simply hit the log out link at the top of the screen out here, which will log you out from Oracle applications. So that's the procedure of logging in and logging out of Oracle applications. Thank you.